Hey guys, I'm starting out with spraying Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and just cleaning the Josefina doll's body. Um, so yeah, I don't really know how to do voiceovers and this is sort of my first try at making videos, but yeah. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna do some commentary because commentary, it's kind of boring. Um, but I ordered this Josefina for like $34 on eBay and she was super cheap and super cute. And I realized like Josefina is such a cute doll. Like I love the Josefina face mold and all, but just the doll itself is adorable. So I might be ordering um, a Josefina just to have for non-customization customization purposes. Um, so yeah, but anyways, <laughs> here's um, the cleaning process. It was really satisfying. I always love cleaning my dolls. I have no idea why. Um, I guess I like the feeling of satisfaction. I don't know. <laughs> um, but also just seeing all that dirt come off and be like, wow, I did a good job. So uh, yeah, let's get on to the next part. on why I chose to make a vitiligo doll. So I did this doll in honor of my grandmother because she does have vitiligo and my grandmother grew up in Ethiopia and where I got the name Nyala from is a common Ethiopian name and I think it's just gorgeous and I think it suits her very well and her story very well. So yeah. <laughs> and yes, I was watching Barbie and the 12 Dancing Princesses. It's a great movie, okay? because this is really short. Um, this restringing kit was four out of five stars for me because the clamps are not very easy to use and yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> 